Hello everyone, great to see you today. I am Pastor Neil here in Way Park in Custer, South Dakota. And I'm here in Way Park because this is where we'll be having our service on Sunday at 9 a.m. Now if you're online, you join us every week online and you can't be here, that's great. We'll be posting this online at close to 10 a.m. as we can. So as soon as we get done, we will post it online and you can enjoy service with us today. Now today we are in Psalm chapter 2. And we're going to go ahead and read it and then just take a look at what sticks out to us from this passage. So let's read together Psalm chapter 2. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast their cords from us. He who sits in heaven laughs and the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I will have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and, and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with an iron rod and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. You know, this Psalm 2 is probably not one we read a whole lot. We tend to go to the ones in the middle of the book. But here's something that stuck out to me right away when I was reading this. First of all, it asks the questions, why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain? And it never says why. It never goes through and talks about why they do it. It simply says that they do it, and then what does God do? Well, God, who sits on throne, he laughs. He laughs at them in derision. He mocks them. He scoffs at them. They don't have any authority. They don't have any real power. They're plotting, but they don't have any ability to make good on any of their plots, on any of the things that they're trying to do. And instead, the psalmist gives us a, a thing that we should do, an application that we can apply. And what is that? Well, here in verse 11, he says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Why would we serve the Lord with fear? Well, first of all, we don't have any ability, we don't have any power to actually do anything. But God does. He created the universe from nothing. So, first of all, he's the one to serve. Why with fear? Well, God is the God who created us from nothing, and he can make us turn into nothing. He is one to truly be feared. It's, it's that Aslan moment, like in, um, in Narnia. They serve Aslan. He is not a safe lion, but he is a powerful and good lion. And God is a good God, and he will take care of what he needs to take care of. It says, to rejoice with trembling. There's a combination of that we are excited, we are happy that God is doing things and we are rejoicing and yet simultaneously there's a sense of fear there. We realize that God is everything and we are but dust and we can be turned into nothing, less than dust, in a moment. And so let's not have plots and rage against God something that he would laugh at us in derision. Instead, let's serve God and understand our place in the universe that we are nothing compared to him. He is everything, and yet we rejoice because we get to be with him. We don't deserve it. We haven't done anything to, to make it happen, or we don't have any power to force it to happen, and yet he allows us to be with him. So let's serve him, let's rejoice, and let's have a, twi a tinge of fear because he truly is God. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you gained something from this day. If you did, would you smash that uh, thumbs up button? Would you just uh, poke that so that uh, YouTube knows that this is something that you're enjoying? And either way, we hope to see you on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. here or close to 10 online. Have a great day.